Hi guys and welcome to my channel. I am Carrie Penny, the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and this is show and tell number 15. So welcome back uh, and welcome to about a hundred new subscribers. <laughs> um, <laughs> welcome to my weird slice of paradise over here. Uh, lots of spastic bizarreness. Still kind of blushing from all the compliments Dipsy gave me. Um, as the title would suggest, this is a show and tell video. And I got a lot to show you guys since I've been sick. Obviously, I'm feeling a lot better. <laughs> um, the last two days, I have really felt substantially better. I still have a little bit more pressure in that area there. Um... By the end of the day, like around noon, I'm still hitting a wall where I have to take a little nap. Um, and then at the end of the day, I still need to take a decongestant. But holy cow, I can actually like use my brains. Um, Wow. Yeah, it is like roasting in here. So we went from being highs in the 20s, upper teens, to it's now 81 outside. So, you know, like the Midwest was experiencing this like 90 degree temperature difference after the polar vortex. And then, yeah. So here we are. We went from last week being in the teens and wearing sweatshirts and toboggans and ear warmers to I want to peel my skin off and get air moving. Um... And it's mostly because I've been closed in indoors all day. Um, yeah, very muggy. I forgot to open the windows downstairs. So now it's kind of late because I'll be leaving in about two hours to go to Pershaw. So, and I, I don't know that my husband would remember to shut them. <laughs> uh, he's working late tonight. So, yeah, I'll be gone by the time he gets home. And by the time I get home, it's going to be... I think in the 50s, which wouldn't be the end of the world, because this house really needs some air and out. Ooh, ooh. I did not finish my coffee this morning, so I am actually having coffee in the afternoon. So, finished objects. I finally finished my diamond painting. I think he looks fantastic. If any of y'all... Watch Ross. Smells like you're on podcast. You've already seen this one, but I actually had ordered it about three weeks before he showed his, and I about died laughing. Um, but I love it. I am going to frame him, so I'm going to have to... There's only one other one that I've seen that I just really, 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 really like, and that one would go in the craft room, but... Take my time on getting my next uh, diamond painting there. I enjoyed it. It was really nice and relaxing. But my workspace really isn't great for it. And the cats don't make it any easier. So, also, I started out with a really big one. The other one's even larger, though. So, that one's like 60 centimeters by 60 centimeters. And this one doesn't have as... Yeah, it does. This one is a uh, 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters. So I will be waiting a little while before I do my next diamond painting. But if you enjoy things like paint by numbers or um, embroidery and stuff, that is totally up your alley. Then to the yarny things. All right. Hopefully I'll do this without like kicking my camera, but I had to get in a better, more comfortable seating position. So, my first finished object I was going to share has actually already been taken to its new home. I made a blue heather shawl, and of course I forgot to write down the designer for that one. Um, it I shared it on Instagram already, and I'll try to remember to put a picture up here, but if I forget, just go to my Instagram account. It's the big blue shawl. Um, quite a few of y'all, actually, if you watch the Zoom chats that Melanie host, Pippin, stop that. He's chewing the ribbon off an organza bag. 
Yes, that's my shoe. Pippin, stop it. Stop it. Pippin. I don't know why he wants to chew everything. Pippin. Stop it. Don't do it. Pippin. Now I'll forget where I threw that shoe. <laughs> Stop chewing everything. Little Freud cat. Anyway, so I started a Bible study two weeks ago. This was the third week. And she was, when I said I ran the prayer shop ministry, she was like, oh, I could really use one of those. Okay. So last week I finally remembered to ask her a favorite color. And this week I made her a shawl. So she was very ecstatic to get it. I got to walk up behind her and just kind of throw it around her shoulders. She's like, this is mine. It turned out really nice. I'm surprised I've never done that pattern before or never seen it before. Um, super simple, very relaxing, but because it's the seed stitch, it's very um, smushy. So today I actually started one for me, or at least the plan is for it to be for me. We'll see. Uh, I'm using Scarfy for that one. I used Red Heart with love cerulean for the one that I gave to the lady at the Bible study. So maybe it was up there. Maybe it wasn't. Like I said, if I forgot, go to Instagram. It's on my Instagram account. It's also on my Ravelry account. Um, so the next thing is what I brought my other finished objects up in. And this is all scrap yarn. And it looks like it's three pieces. Like <laughs> every time I pick it up, I'm kind of surprised. But there were like... 30 little balls of uh, brown tan, chocolate brown tan and uh, off-white that I put in here. So I'm actually surprised that it blended so seamlessly. Um, all the pictures that I've shown actually show, show it folded down, which is how I've been keeping it on my desk to throw my finished objects in. <sighs> and it's perfect. It does exactly what I need it to do. And then when I came up here to film, I was able to just grab it by its handles and pick it up and go. So, love it. And it's based on the Jada. It's inspired by the Jada and Stitches one. Um, I literally just kind of did my own thing. And then I did the back loop. So, it, it, when I set it down, it actually folds right there on the... The same thing I showed you that I did with uh, the bucket. Making sure that there's some sort of ridge there to... A niche. Make sure that I've got a ridge for it to fold nicely. Yes, I'm really into like soft storage. I don't know why. I don't, I never use it for that long. It's the kind of thing I make. I love it while I use it. And then somebody's like, oh, I really like that. And I'm like, here, have it. And I never think to make myself another one. So I've been on a roll kick for Apparently, soft baskets again. <sighs> dishcloths, dishcloths, all the white dishcloths. Uh, yeah. I did leave some of this cream color to use for multicolored ones that are in the Knit Picks book. Knit Picks book. So, first off, we have Starflower by Karen. The Miller, the Miller Lawrence, and it's knitted from the center out, and then you cast on and work down, cast on and work down, and you're you can actually see where it joins to the base of the work there. Uh, as hard as it sounds, not that hard. I did use double points to start it because I don't like using magic loop for stuff that tiny. Actually, I may have done the whole thing on DPNs, actually. I did it all one morning when I was feeling really bad. I don't really remember. This one is Dish Made by Deanne Ramsey. Sorry. Really should have brought, like, my book in closer or remembered if my glass is on. Um, this is the same stitch as the Kicks 2 to Tango shawl, actually. And I did add a border on it because my edges got really wonkadoozle 
and you can see where they keep getting kind of puffy. It's worked from the corner down, but like you, uh, I know once it gets used, once it's wet, it'll be fine. It'll, that's the nature of cotton. This one is called Picnic Blanket, and it's just the basket weave stitch, which I love. I mean, and this is so super easy to work up, and it's very scrubby. It's going to be great for, like, wiping down countertops with. I will probably do a few more with that one. But this one, hands down, is my favorite dishcloth ever. <laughs> this is the boxy dishcloth, and the pattern's by Michelle Krause. And I'll try to remember to link everything down below. If not, it is on my Ravelry page. And the link for that is down below. Uh, I really enjoyed this. I like the fabric. It's nice. It's springy. It feels sturdy. And I love, <laughs> I love how stretchy it is. So really enjoyed this one. Actually enjoyed making this one, which is unusual for me. Um, and my next one is actually going to be made out of dish picks knit picks dishy which i've never used before it was one of the cottons i said i was going to go ahead and try to see if i liked it better than sugars and cream peaches and cream yada 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 all like a lot of these that i've done so far though have actually been made out of the lion brand kitchen cotton from at least 10 years ago and it was the one that was 100% cotton, not cotton and acrylic blend, but was still kitchen cotton, not cottonese. When they came out with cottonese, they got rid of the dish cotton and just had the cottonese for a while, or at least locally. I don't know what they had online. And then they brought back kitchen cotton and started tapering out cottonese again. But the new kitchen cotton actually had... I think it was acrylic. It may have been polyester and like 10% in it. And then it went back to 100% cotton for a while. This is the one from like 10 years ago. It was 100% cotton, but it's so, I mean, you see how soft and just bouncy and easy, easy to work with. So definitely like that a lot. And then my last finished object, make sure I didn't forget anything, yep, is my barley hat. And this is using the Premier Candy Shop dark chocolate that I got in my Christmas Eve unboxing for Premier. I am not sure why I've never done a tin can why I've never done a tin can knits. I don't know if you can hear that, but like a school bus just like slammed on its brakes in the front of my house. Maybe in the back of my house. You know my house is on a big curve, but still. Normally not that loud. Um, but I've never done a tin can knits pattern before. And in particular, this one, I'm very confused why I've never stopped to do it. I've seen it 900 times. I loved it. And that's a little tuft in the yarn. So I think I'm gonna have to actually trim that back. It's not a knot. It's just like a poof. But I really enjoyed the pattern and it was so easy. This is like ginormous on my head. I did the second from the largest. So I cast on 90 stitches for mine. And it is huge. Like it's even kind of big on my husband's head. <laughs> but yeah, I really like this. So I think I will probably make another one. I, I'm going to have some leftovers. I'll show you the scarf in a second. And I think I'm going to have enough to do the middle size. So I think I might try the middle size and see how that works. And as far as the candy shop goes, I've seen a lot of people unboxing it and nobody using it. I loved it. I thought it was a blast to work with. I love the, this, you know, it's two strands and I love the way it gradiates through the colors like that. I loved it. I was very excited about it. And I was kind of surprised how much I enjoyed working with it. And I like the fabric, it's that um, if it were natural fiber, it would feel itchy, but it's soft. I haven't washed this yet. Uh, it's a donation hat, so I probably won't wash it before I donate it. But um, I never do. I, I Anything that I buy or sell, I almost never wash it before I, 
I'll soak it if it needs blocking and that's about it. Um, but yeah. So if you're looking for like an easy hat to really cut your teeth on making a nicer hat versus just like your basic ribbed hat, do the barley hat. Everybody else who suggested it, they're not lying. It really is a nice thing to just work up. I know, um, I've said it before, creepily enough, Ross and I keep doing a lot of the same projects. Now I did do the boxy, uh, dishcloth because of his, like he said he was doing it. And I was like, Oh, I actually kind of like that pattern. I'm going to go do that. The other night when he was doing his live, he was casting on for the barley light right as I was just printing out the pattern for barley or had just started my barley hat. So thought that was hilarious. Where did I just put all my dishes? There, there. My hat will stay up here. My dishes will go downstairs. So whips. I already told you I started another blue heather shawl. And that one is in the garnet and black scarfie. I have three balls of it because I ordered it from Michael. So I'll probably put two into a shawl, especially if I'm keeping it. For, if I still really like it and want to keep it for myself, I'll put two into it at least. Um, based on the size that I gave to the lady at church today, probably need, I'm going to need more to go around all this. We'll, we'll put that the nice way. So it'll take probably two at least for me. Um, they're like 250 yards each or 280 yards or something. So they're a little bit bigger than the With Love Cerulean that I had, but not by much. I mean, I knew who. So this is the scarf that I cast on back on Christmas Day. Um, I really wanted to play with this yarn, number one, and I wanted to play with the Zing needles that my husband had gotten me for Christmas. Uh, I'm doing, I've already started the decrease for this end, so it'll be done tonight. It'll probably be done as a, after that film this, I'm going to set this to, hmm, because I got to put a picture in there. It might take a little bit more. I will probably make my husband's dinner and then sit down and edit this and then upload it. And while I'm uploading it, I will be catching up on other people's videos before I leave. So this will, this will probably get done before I even leave for my meeting tonight, except for weaving in the ends, uh, which I've been taking this project and working on it. Um, doctor's appointments. I've been knitting during Bible study. Um, I took it somewhere. I just worked on it at my mother-in-law's on Christmas day. So it hasn't been something like I've been sitting there actually working on. Like this has been my big travel project for a while now. Um, I've worked on it on the zoom chats with Melanie and, Becky and all those guys, but, uh, it's the tri-color tip scarf pattern. Pippin, are you okay? What's you huffling for? He's sitting in the window, like, sunlight is, like, pouring in. And he's sitting in the window and just started coughing. <laughs> He's had a little bit of a stuffy nose too, but yeah, so it goes out like this. So I'm like right here. So I've only got that much left to do. Um, but the overall length right now is over six feet from here to the start of the decrease section. But yeah, I, I, once again, I have really enjoyed the candy shop yarn. I thought it made a nice fabric it's and it's really warm without feeling sweaty that probably doesn't make sense to anybody who doesn't live in the south where it can be like 15 degrees and still like humid and muggy that's why it feels colder down here degree for degree than it feels like in vermont but yes we are almost complete with this i have really enjoyed it I've enjoyed working on it, enjoyed making it, but that's how much I have on the, it took, will have taken two to do that. And it only took half a ball or half a cake to do the hats. So you could get two hats easily out of the cake. I realized the other day, I don't believe I have really talked to you about this bag I've had this project in. Um, 
Troy got this for me for Christmas because I said, get me this, and there was only one left, and he ordered it that day. Because that's how we roll over here for Christmas. But um, I think I've mentioned that it came from Liam Loves You. But I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And that is glittered fabric in there. I know as soon as I wash it, the glitter will probably wash away. But there's glittered fabric on the inside of it. And it's... Yeah, it's got a nice box bottom. It is so durable. I am not sure what interfacing she used on these, but I mean, I sew. Obviously, I have spent enough time sewing and I've done some really nice tote bags over the years, but this feels like somehow she made, like I have this fabric somewhere. Or I've used it on another project. This is not super uh, heavy duty fabric. Ooh, alarm. Sorry. Hold on. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got up from my nap at a decent time. <laughs> but um, whatever interfacing she put in this makes this bag feel like canvas. I mean, it is so heavy. I love it. So if anybody knows the lady that makes these that owns the shop, Liam Loves You, ask her what interfacing she uses because this is absolutely amazing. I think Llama Mama just sent me a friend invite. <laughs> that's a fun thing about filming on my phone. I will probably forget that's there by the time I like, have time to sit down and think for five minutes. But anyway... This has been living in that bag since Christmas Day. And I love it. And I'm actually... So, I don't know how many of y'all were watching me in the beginning when I had to go... I wanted to start a project or I had to start a project for something. And I got the Knitter Pride Dream needle tips. And I was like, eh. I don't particularly like using wood anyway. I really love my chow goos, so... Eh. Um, I haven't used wooden needles in a long time. I've gotten to where I've used them in a couple of projects now, and I don't mind them as much as I did at first. Um, but the zings, on the other hand, are great. Like, I can't justify the price of the interchangeable chalgu as much as I'd love to just spend my money on that. Um, but I did find the zings on sale for around $65, and... Sent my husband the link and said, okay, they're on sale today. Buy these now. Um, so that's what he got me for Christmas. Uh, really have enjoyed using those. I do prefer the Knit Picks cables with them, though. Uh, they are interchangeable with the Knit Picks cables. Well, that's, that's the green one, but... Like these better. Um... But if you are new to knitting and you're finding using the metal needles to be too slippery and you're not confident or comfortable using them, the Knitter Pride Dreams are fine. Um, you find them at Hobby Lobby, use your coupon, buy the tips one at a time for what you need by project. There is nothing wrong with that. I still use my boy double point needles. Like my El Cheapo DPNs is what I use 90% of the time. And I have really expensive bamboo ones. I have really nice metal ones. I still end up using my boy ones more often than not. Um, so I'm not like a needle snob where it's just like, eh, no. Nah. Uh, and I still end up having to crack out my boy interchangeable needles a lot too. And they're really not that great. But they serve their purpose, and I can work with them. I'm used to working with them. But, um, yeah. So if you're looking for something to kind of just step up a little bit, I do recommend the Zings. I really like them. Um, I forgot. I had tried the Cubics years ago and hated them. I hated them. So, y'all ended up accidentally getting kind of two reviews there in one video. So before... We go on to accus acquisitions, accusations. Um, I'm doing a giveaway for a pattern. Uh, I have over 300 subscribers now, all of a sudden. 
Uh, and probably at this rate in about three weeks, I'll be doing another one because I'm at just a, well, I'm almost to 360 now. Um, so yeah, uh, we're giving away a pattern. This giveaway will last today is Thursday, the something, let's say Valentine's day. Sometimes on Valentine's day, I'm going to draw a winner. I don't know if I'm going to do it in the morning or the afternoon or at night. But sometime, magically on Valentine's Day, I will pick a comment from down below and we will have a winner. So, in the comments down below, I want to know your, hmm, your go-to pattern. Just like, you're bored, you want to make something, here's a ball of yarn, what are you going to make with it? What's your, what is your just like ride or die pattern in general. Um, I do a lot of scarves and shawls. So for me, it's probably a corner to corner shawl or stall. Uh, if you have a favorite stitch and you just like the corner to corner, you don't care if it's a blanket, a shawl, whatever, you're, you're just a ride or die corner to corner, no matter what. Answer with that. But I want to know what your go-to patterns are. If your go-to stitches so comment those down below. Enter for a chance to win a free pattern on Ravelry. Limit of $6. I did get asked why I always pick $6. It's because I looked at the patterns that I've bought in the last two years and the pattern sitting in my cart waiting to be purchased. And the average price of the patterns, $6. They're $5.99. So that's why I chose $6 instead of $5. Um, but yeah. So comment down below. Let me know what your go-to pattern is. Enter for a chance to win. And I'm going to take a break real quick before we start acquisitions. Okay. Like I said, still a little flimmy, still a little... <clears throat> I just hacked up half a lung. So... I have bought yarn, but most of it's pretty boring. It's been um, stuff for, I have four hat commission. Um, they want two in Panthers colors, one in Steelers colors, one in Dallas colors. And I needed to buy everything. I thought I needed to buy everything but the black for the Steelers hats. No, I'm out of black too. So <laughs> I'm going to have to go back to the store and buy some black famous choice. Oh, I might leave early and do that tonight on the way to my meeting because I passed right by Michael's. I can just run in, grab it, and go. Since Troy's not going to be here. I love it when my brain does a thing. Anyway, going in and out of the stores. I had to go to Hobby Lobby for something the other day. Um... I want to buy gifts for somebody. That's what I went in there for. Um, I, I participated in a swap and I needed to buy her a prize. Anyway, um, while I was in there, I went through the paper. I, mine goes um, stuff I don't pay attention to. It's seasonal and party. Then it goes paper crafting. Then it's like crafting, crafting, crafting. And then it's... Um, down the right hand side of it is the yarn, fabric, and then floral. So my two favorite spots are in the back two corners. But anyway, they had some really cool stuff on clearance. And I bought a lot of it. So I got these three sets of push pins. I gotta find my cork board, but I do actually have a nice cork board. Oh, since I can't do that with my hands, so with these little cameras and sunglasses. Then we have No Drama Llamas. Wee. I love how you see like the worst of my craft room when I do that. <laughs> and then we have little coffee cups. Because we all know how addicted to coffee and tea I am. Then we have these enamel pens. 
Which, just for the record, if you are wondering why some people say Hobby Lobby has enamel pins and you can never find them, a lot of the really super uber cute ones are over in Paper Crafting. I've gotten a couple sets of them. And then I also found these little pin badges, which I thought these were adorable. This one I need to like make sure is on everything. And then I went to Joanne's the other day and they had an extra 50% off Red Tech clearance and they just clearance out some new buttons. It's true. We have little bluebird buttons. Oh, come on. Don't do me like then we have some pretty pink hydrangea looking flowers I love, these are like huge domes I mean they're really massive you have butterflies on pink flowers I told Christy Cook one day over at Tea Dottles that I was going to share my obscene button collection You've seen my obscene fabric. You've seen my obscene yarn. That's not all. I hit an amazing clearance one year at Joanne's on buttons. And it was a lot of the kids' buttons and novelty buttons and things like that. Lord, y'all. I love these. I really wish they'd had, like, two sets of these. Because I'd love to put that on a cardigan. Now, these were adorable. You know, there are just days where it doesn't pay to be me. Oh, they say hello. There we go. And they're super adorable. Another one of the butterfly. We've got some roses. Well, they're not roses. They actually more like peonies, maybe. Pretty pink flowers. And then this is the rose. <laughs> So yeah, I actually had acquisitions and they're marked at 147. Yeah. So they were 50% off of 147. Can't really complain with that price at all. Um other than that, I haven't really done much recently. Um, you know, I did spend like two weeks sick, so I spent a lot of time sleeping. A lot of time sleeping or trying to sleep um spent some time pick, trying to pick up in here I mean it's still a disaster um you know moving the Christmas back into here it just kind of threw everything into chaos and I've got a bunch of finished objects that I need to find home here or put them in one of the donation boxes either shawls blankets men's women's um yeah that's all um excuse me if for some reason y'all are not subscribed to gypsy loves crochet um go check out gypsy's channel that's where like 50 percent of you guys came from the last hundred of you guys pretty much came from gypsy <laughs> um but I sent her a package recently. She won the Karen Pantone giveaway. And I was already planning on sending her a gift this quarter. Um, so I just sent her a big gift with her Karen yarn. Um, and she did misunderstand. There were three uh, Karens to go in that uh, giveaway. So I once again, I had ordered from Michael. So I had three. So anyway, she really enjoyed her package. She was very, very sweet, um, very excited um, to go check that out. Um, <clears throat> if somehow you haven't heard about Llama Mama's bingo, um, go check out Llama Mama's channel. And she has a February bingo video where she talks about the bingo game. It's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm not 
using it to dictate my projects, but I am like, maybe I'll move this one up the, the queue a little bit to uh, maybe get closer to bingo on this side. Um, let's see. There's been so much going on, you guys. I mean, there's been so many exciting things going on. Uh, there's like all these unboxing videos where people did Llama Mama's um, Valentine swap or February swap. <sighs> yeah. I, wow. I don't even know where to tell y'all to go because it's, uh, there's so much going on. I mean, y'all know, like, the people I watch on the regular, and, I mean, I name drop the people I watch a lot all the time. Anyway. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the Crafty Floridian is doing the donation hats for the kindergarten and first graders still, so if you don't know about Billy's, I don't want to call it her hat drive, but it is kind of her hat drive, um, go to the Crafty Floridian is her channel. I'm going to use the, this is my basket that I cleaned up the other night to go downstairs. I'm going to use my neon and I do have some Premier in black and we're going to make some hats out of that. And just for the record, I was telling you guys, it is the crafty jackalope um, that had the hat pattern that I like so much, but these are the Yarns I was telling you guys the other day, the thread that I got at Hobby Lobby for $1.79 on clearance. So I'm looking forward to seeing how that works up. I really love the fact it's, I mean, it's a beautiful thread anyway by itself, but I love the fact it's got different color sequins in it. It's not like all gold, all silver, all purple. It's not a monochromatic, uh, it's called Mulberry Multi. Um... But I had no idea what I was going to do with this anyway, so may as well put it into a hat. Let's see, 328 yards, so it'll be more than enough to get me through a hat. But I'm looking forward to that. I've got that pattern printed out. I did have to buy a new printer. My uh, ancient office printer finally died. We thought it was the toner, but no. Nope. And my husband was laughing. He's like, I, I bought one that was like $60, but it didn't have a Wi-Fi hookup or a Bluetooth hookup. It was USB only. So we returned that one and ordered a different one that it's an HP. It actually works really well, but um, he finally, I was telling him to repair the one we had. It was going to be like $100. And then he realized it's like still a $1,000 printer, even though it's... 23 years old. Uh, it's one of those standard black and white duplex office printers. So I think he's kind of, <laughs> cause we had two more toner cartridges for that printer. We did not pay for that printer. It was an office going out of business that we got the printer from, but it also weighs like 900 pounds, like moving that thing. We've moved it to three different houses. At least this one I can pick up on my own. So anyway, that's what's been going on here for the last two weeks. Um, thank you guys so much for the prayers and the well wishes while I got over the combination yuck. Um, my immune system does not like uh, having to work. Pippin's now getting restless, so... I am going to try to get this edited together and get the picture of the shawl thrown up there and then I'll get this uploaded. I think that's all I have to do to it. Maybe as I like pre-screen it, I'll remember something. Anyway, there you go. I hope you guys have had a great week and I hope you have a wonderful weekend and hopefully it won't take me two weeks to come back and see you again. So Welcome all the new subscribers and, you know, welcome back to my old guys. And I hope you take care of yourselves and, uh, he's messing with stuff on my desk. Anyway, 
I will see you guys real soon. <laughs> Bye.